have a drinking problem. I have a problem with drinking. I can't drink enough. <laughs> Funny. Um, but also self-destructive. Um, I've, I've, I've been thinking about um, games as live services. Because when it comes to games, I, I'm pretty patient, I think. I'm good at not pre-ordering things. Especially since I pre-ordered Brink. If you have played that game, you'll know why that's a mistake. And if you've seen the advertising and then played it, you'll know why that's a mistake. The same thing happened with Halo 5, the same thing happened with a lot of games. I quite liked Halo 5, and the thing is, if I didn't pre-order it, which I didn't, I wasted a good while, and then I played it, and I had a good time with it. My expectations were set, and that's great. That's like a good thing under like a free market that you can be patient, wait for a product and get rewarded for it. But the problem was they started adding pre-order bonuses to games. And sure, if you release something and you want to try and drive, drive up sales, that makes sense if that stuff's going to be available later down the line. Or something you could buy extra down the line. I think that's really reasonable, reasonably ethical, you know. But now what they're doing with games is they're playing on people's FOMO, fear of missing out. And that really bad because you'll have something like Fortnite, yeah, and it, you'll say, hmm, I want to get one of these battle passes, you know, I want to get this extra stuff because I'm really enjoying the game, but you know what, I'll wait, but what happens if you wait, they go, they disappear, so you can't wait for reviews, you can't wait to find out if this is stuff you're actually going to enjoy or want, because if you don't buy it now, you'll never get it, and it's like, it's almost worse than gambling, because it's just like a vague promise, and it's like, you can't really say... Um, oh, I won't buy it next time because someone else might say that you can't vote with your wallet when everyone can make the same mistake from you and they can't learn from it. It's like you can't like expect me as an individual to go to every person in the community of a game and say you can't support this practice and they'll say why I want to and then they'll do it and they'll be shooting themselves in the foot. It just doesn't work. I think it's too patchwork to take legal action against it in such a way that we can't let this happen because it's kind of built from the top that way. If you find the latest trend of like unethical thing to do with your business, you can get away with it for a while. And especially with games like Team Fortress or Counter-Strike, if you do it first, if you do it well enough and then everybody else is doing it worse than you, you can get away with it. And that's why loot boxes and gambling in like these popular like games that we've already paid money for to play is a popular thing. And I think that's clearer that we should have things to legally stop this in the first place. And I'm in zero position of power to do that. All I can do is tell you and you can tell someone else. That's it. So I feel pretty powerless about it. And I'm glad I've got coherent thoughts out to my fridge for once. Thank you. That's the longest one. Bye-bye.